like this pumpkin bread but it's like I don't need the necessary like random seeds you know what I mean if there ever is an apocalypse I'm gonna die because there's no bread today's thing is not about bread it's about old makeup they're going bye 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 hey guys welcome back to my channel it is girl candy and uh by today's title, you can tell we are going to declutter my makeup. Little, little disclaimer. If you hear random sounds, it is both my bed and a little one right over here. So there might be some random sounds. I'll try to contain it as much as I can, but I'm just saying, fuck it up. I honestly just felt like I needed to clean out my makeup collection. I feel like a lot of things I've had for way over a year and they need to be thrown out old things some things i like some things i haven't touched in a long time and honestly my taste a little bit is changing um before we get started though if you are my candy babes thank you so much for coming back and rocking with me i know my schedule is weird and i pop up on random times and i'm not like on a consistent schedule which i'm trying to change that you still rock with me so thank you and if you're new i hope you enjoy this makeup declutter I don't know how that's gonna go I don't know we'll see how this this goes but from my everyday collection I might actually get rid of some things it's kind of random and I don't honestly keep anything in here unless I like it okay so this is my daily stuff that I use um I'll show you down below more closely on what is what and why do I have it because if I'm not gonna use it then we're, we're gonna check it today Look at it. Oh. Oh wow. This is so good. <clears throat> pumpkin bread is so good. Pumpkin bread is so good. Let me know in the comments down below if you like pumpkin bread. Because I do. Okay. So, like I was saying, I'm going to bring you down here, darling. Do you like that so for my favorites on my daily i have my little scrunchie which you guys see me use on make tutorials i love using those especially when i do like a spa day kind of thing right now i am loving the elf three-in-one mascara and then the covergirl last bash fusion uh these two have really just burned up my little non-existing lashes to life liquid liners uh two of them are from nyx this is one has more of a fine point this is the liquid matte matte <laughs> eyeliner and then this one is from wet and wild benefit cosmetics is there precisely my brow pencil and i'm in the shade number five next here i have just like my tools that i use here this is just the primer um another box i just kind of stocked up before i ran out your favorite sculptor and this is my favorite bronzer too um also love the mini mirror in there so i use that for a lot of things color pop and makeup shayla this is a poise or loose highlighter um honestly this isn't really my favorite but it's in here and it actually is actually going to get tossed um i got this <laughs> look at prince's face prince is like stop it oliver stop it your mother's trying to talk stop it Okay, so I got this in one of the Ipsy bags, and it's not a bad jelly. It's just that when I apply it, I think it was trying to be like a version of Frisali's gel. I don't know, it's not bad. It's just I don't really use that color on me. It kind of just seems like a waste, and it's getting chucked. This one is the Mara Bushido. You know I love the toner. Um, these is one of my favorites. This is one I got in the Sephora. I kind of went and got the Frisali as well. Oh, so I love this thing. Like, I'm so sad I washed out of the oil, facial oil, but this is amazing. Uh, favorite foundations, you know, I haven't changed. Uh, this is the Lancome and this is the Maybelline. Maybelline, for me, is more for, like, like, different looks like editorial and, and cartoon stuff uh this is more like if i'm going out for special events uh definitely that type of foundation is needed and then my everyday i'm loving the covergirl true blend matte made favorite contour stick is the fenty beauty and then favorite concealer this is the Too faced 
so we're going to keep that. And then the other things, these are more skincare. This is from The Ordinary. This is helping with hyperpigmentation, sunscreen, eye cream, and moisturizer. And then for eyeshadow, we have a few different things. We have, I was gifted these through a giveaway. So this is the Naked Cosmetics um, Highlighter Palette. And this is Thrive Cosmetics. And they're really great because they do the proceeds for women, which is really nice. Um, I haven't really used it. Um, I haven't really used it. It's not really my forte on colors. I tried the... And then this one too is going to get tossed. This is more of a super sheer highlighter. And it doesn't really show too much. So, that's getting tossed today. Then we have this one. This one is pretty brand new. I used it in a recent uh, Instagram tutorial. I actually really do like it. It does have, I do like the shimmers. They come out so beautifully when you blend it. It's so beautiful. Still love the Too Faced palette and also the Color Rain. Still my favorites. Ultimate favorites right now for color. These two, no surprise. Talking about them all the time. Uh, Kat Von D, I have the Fetish palette. Uh, both the blush and the eyeshadow both love them very well they're not going anywhere and then I have this one which is one of my favorites and also part of one of the like crazy looks I do and stuff like that I use as shadows okay so now you're on my side of the mega uh, this is where I store all my makeup as far as things I don't use on a daily um, I do have an extra tub, but that's more like for the artsy stuff that I do. And so, well, let's just go over to each row and we'll just decide from there. Okay, so this is drawer number one. In this drawer, it's pretty much like my random stuff. So I have, um, it's like my makeup trash weird drawer. <laughs> so I have my planner here. I have a measuring tape for the glue boost. I have mask i have sigma cleaning brush some um, nail polish some other stuff in there razor sanitizer lip balm perfume all kinds of stuff that's pretty much my uh makeup junk drawer so this is drawer number two so these right here are more for my face products like my face stuff um these are my setting powders and then i have Eyebrow gel, and I'm actually going to throw that away. That's for MAC. I'm actually probably going to keep this from NYC. Okay, so now I ha I still have the Cover FX foundation. I could probably actually throw that away because there's nothing in it. And I still have the um, highlighter stick from Fenty. I'm actually probably going to get rid of that too because I don't really use it. So <laughs> what we're keeping is really nothing at all. This is a Cover FX uh, correct stick. Sorry, correct stick in orange setting powders and then my palette here for NYX um, and the setting powder from Maybelline. So the next drawer here, these are all my eyeshadows. Okay, these ones are new, so I know I'm gonna keep these. It's not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep up. We got the Perception, we got Juvia's, we got Juvia's, we got Ju Juvia's, excuse me. And then we have the Take Me Back to Brazil and the Morphe palette. We're going to keep those. We have the Huda Beauty Electra palette. You guys see me use these. Uh, we have the Morphe and the Kat Von D. Definitely going to keep them. We have the Urban Decay and then we have the Anna. And this is the subculture. I love this palette. They don't make it no more. It's a little sad. Uh, these will probably get thrown away. Um, we have this one. I got this in an Ipsy bag. And it's pretty, but I don't use it just because I'm not into red. Uh, I got this years ago, which I know I probably should throw it away. But it's an eyeshadow. I just never use it. Also, this is a color from Ipsy. Okay, so we have ColourPop. And these are individual shadows. I'm probably going to get rid of this because I never use it. And the Gym Palette, probably gonna, definitely going to get thrown away. I hardly used it. And I know it's like a collector thing, but it wasn't, it wasn't 
isn't that great? So when you think about it, I really don't have that many palettes. I actually thought I had more than that, and I guess I really don't. These are all my highlighters and blush. Uh, keeping this, keeping these two. The Milani is still my go-to like daily. I hardly wear this just because I don't wear blush, but it is a great blush. It's a little light for me. Also for the duo chrome, it's a little too dewy chrome. <laughs> Super orangey. I don't think you can tell. Uh, we have the orange blush, still my favorite from NYX. Um, Papa Don't Preach. This didn't really come off to me as a blush, but more as a highlighter just because of my skin tone and I think by golly we're gonna get rid of her then we have the cover effects custom drops and then Kaleido cosmetics I think this is a blush color but again it's very like light but it was super pretty so I think we might keep that okay so the next one is <laughs> this is all of my um, paint and glitter and artistic stuff Definitely keeping this. This is probably one of my favorites that I got and got. That is super green right now. Also, the other paint I use, as you can tell, it's... Definitely been more now. Glycerin. Always gotta have some glycerin. We're keeping that. Both makeup palettes here from Wet n Wild. Okay, so we're keeping these. Vampire blood. Can't have enough vampire blood. Then pretty much back here, it's just more like vampire blood. I try to just keep all that, like, this coagulated blood. I try to keep all the blood stuff together. Blood. Blood. Translucent powder. This is Pro Wax. That's how I put down my eyebrow hair. Sponges. Paint sponges. Vivid Brights liner from NYX. Next in here, I pretty much have all of my glitters and stuff like that in here. Jewels. Jewels. Sequins. Okay, so these are all my lipsticks. As you can see, I have a crap ton of lipsticks. I'm gonna zoom you in. So in this um, drawer, I have just cotton balls. Then right here, I have my liquid latex. Uh, this is just another idea I have, but I don't think I'm going to be using this glitter for that specific reason. And then these are just simpling. Like, you can use this for certain um, textures that you want on looks. So little foam stuff, cotton. And then down here is more artistic stuff. Um, I just got the P. Louise concealers. Going to try them out. I got the basic brights, Drossy crystals, um, some powder pigments, some more arts craft, uh, random NYX lip books that I got, uh, some studs, gold flakes, uh, more of the P. Louise uh, concealer, artsy stuff like I said, not been really intense in there. And then down here is more like my collector stuff and then Sigma big products because it's so big. All right, well, that's pretty much all the makeup that I had to shift through, and it looks like we got a lot of lipsticks. Um, while I'm doing my in here, I will show you a clip of the remaining products that are being set thrown away. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like um, shifting through and looking and see what kind of makeup products I do use on a daily or whatever's in my collection. If you have any questions about that, please let me know down below and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me while I declutter my makeup and yeah I will check you guys at the next one